so I can do the most. And then it falls back in place. So. What's up you guys? I am back with another video today. I'm going to be showing y'all what I have gotten um, this month. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you would have definitely seen at least two of the pieces that I'm going to be showing you. I go over my outfit sometimes, so definitely follow me on Instagram if you like that type of content. You know, outfit of the days and things of the sort. Before I start rambling and rambling on, I did want to show you guys what I am wearing today. I feel very, very cute. I did yoga this morning. I did laundry, so I'm feeling accomplished already. I'm getting this video out for y'all. I was cute while doing everything, so getting into my little outfit of the day today. Um, Sophie Buhai on the earrings. I, don't, I need to stop saying it at this point because y'all already know I wear these earrings literally every freaking day. And then for my ring, I am wearing my ring by Create Freedom. Um, you guys know I just did a little review in my like last little thrift haul video. I talked about this brand in the beginning, but super, super obsessed with this ring. I've literally been putting it on with like my everyday Sophie Buha earrings and my little all blues cuff. Um, it's become a part of that uh, morning ceremony, I guess putting on your jewelry. The shirt that I'm wearing is Cedric Charlie Air. I talked about this shirt before on my channel, but it is a faux leather top and it's like one of my favorite pieces that I own in my wardrobe. I wear it as a jacket sometimes. And I've actually had it for over a year now, almost two years, and it literally looks the same as the first day I got it. So I'm really, really happy with this piece. It's a very chic piece, <laughs> just to say the least. And it fits me incredibly well. And I love it, so that's what I'm wearing on top. Uh, and then for jeans, I am just wearing my Acne Studio jeans, my 19, what is these? Yeah, 1997 Acne Studio jeans. Got these like last year, last summer, I think. I have a review on them. I have a whole little style video with them. And I chose to go for a light wash pair of jeans, mainly because I'm tired of wearing my Balenciaga jeans. I've just been wearing black, 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 which I love wearing black, 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 but sometimes, you know, you gotta switch it up here and there. And then for shoes, I'm wearing my very beat up, very loved, scuffed, Raph Simon Adidas. All right, y'all, so my first pick up that I got at the beginning of this month is actually this Rick Owens puffer. And it's from his Fall Winter 2020 collection, uh, the Performer Collection, which if you don't know anything about that collection, it was actually inspired by Rose Lee Goldberg, who is a curator. Um, she's curated art for MoMA, Guggenheim, and Performer is like her art performance biennial where she commissions artists, visual artists, to come together and perform during this like a three week biennial, yeah. So Rick Owens was inspired by her performa. I read that he thought about how he performs um, and I guess what they looked like to him in terms of clothing is really exaggerated sleeves, uh, really structured shoulders, and like knit body suits. Um, it just really did remind you of performance wear. So yeah, that is the collection that this coat is from. And when I first got this coat, I was a little on the verge about it a little bit. I mean, I loved it. First off, I really wish that I would have gotten a size 38, which is my true size. But I was thinking coat, you know, you may want to layer. But also, I should have been thinking it's goose down, 90% goose down, 10% feathers. So that feel is like the warmest feel ever. So I should have known that I wouldn't have to layer a whole lot under the coat. But anyway, I still chose to go with the Italian 40, which I'm not mad at the Italian 40. I feel like the Italian 40, 40 is perfect. I mean, I'm able to like move in it. I don't feel restricted at all. Although I have my Isabel Moran coat, it was not warm enough for me, okay? It's not a downfield like this one. So I was just tired of freezing my ass off. So I knew this Rick Owens coat was something that I needed, okay? More than one, it's not something that I needed. All right, y'all, getting into the details of the coat. As I told you before, it is 90% boost down, 10% feathers, so super warm for those really cold, frigid nights, especially if you live in New York or any other cold place. The sleeves are pretty long, which most of the pieces from this collection that this coat is from, the, the sleeves were extended. I feel like I'm walking down a freaking runway every time I put it on though. In case you are wondering if this coat is warm because it is super cool, usually cool coats aren't warm. This one is warm. Um, the back is up a little bit higher and then the front is lower. So I do find that 
I have to have something, you know, tucked into my jeans, like maybe a t-shirt or some heat tech, you know, because air will, of course, go underneath seeing the silhouette of the coat. My favorite part about this coat is actually the profile or like the side view of the coat. You have like a strap on the back, which Connor likes to yaga me when I'm like walking across the street, not looking. So he loves that part. And then in the front, you have an asymmetrical zipper. The zipper goes all the way up over your neck, damn near covering your mouth, which I love because I technically don't need a scarf. Then on the inside, it is super performa, performative because it has, or not performative, but functional. It has zippers on the inside so I can, you know, put my phone there if I don't wanna use the outside pockets. The pockets, as you can see, they go on like a little slant. Getting into some of the cons when it comes to this coat. One thing that I noticed is I will find that a feather, okay, will come out, you know, here and there, which with a coat that's down, that is bound to happen. Um, hopefully it does not become excessive because otherwise I have to send Rick Collins an email. Respectfully, which I don't see it becoming a problem. I own several Rick Owens pieces and I know that they are all handled with care, made with care. And I love the matteness of it and I love how, you know, poofy it is and it's super soft but still poofy. But one thing with it being so soft and poofy, I feel like if I wear jewelry that is like really pointy, for instance, my grandmother's ring, it's a ring that is super spiked. And I have to be careful when I'm putting that coat on with that rain because this material of this coat will snag so easily. And it actually says that on the tag um, with the coat that, you know, be careful of like sharp objects because I can see this coat definitely just like snipping, okay? On any, on any edge of any table. So I am, you know, kind of careful when I am wearing this coat. Not super careful to the point where it's like, oh my god, oh my god. Like, I'm never around like anything super sharp. But with that being said, if I am in a, an unfamiliar setting, I do observe the room. As you should when you're not wearing Rick on shit. You wanna see what you around, period. And I was super happy to find that they actually included a thick Rick Owens hanger to go with this coat. Because with coats like this, especially a Rick Owens puffer that you spent your good money on. You don't want to put a like wired hanger on really any down coat, but because it'll just like make the down just like sag low and just, it's not good for, for the form. And I would also say the same thing for like blazers. My blazers, I try to keep on thicker hangers or wooden hangers just to, you know, help the form just stay over time. Getting into the next pickup, which is actually a hoodie. It is the coziest sweater that I own at this moment, which is why I've been wearing it every day. And I actually got it from this website, Congruent Space. Shout out to Prosper, know him, he's a cool dude, and he's actually the founder of Congruent Space. But yeah, at their store, they carry brands like Sune, uh, Walter Van Beerdenach, China Market, um, a Cold Wall, Fang Chang Wang, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Also for Congruent Space, I had ordered a couple of more pieces, but it turns out they were out of stock. So they actually gave me a discount code, which was super freaking nice of them. But I want to give back to you guys. So if you guys want to purchase something from Congruent Space, let me know and I will give you that discount code. Maybe I should do like something like subscribe. No, I'm not going to do that. Just give me the good. <laughs> Just DM me if you want the code. It's yours. And as you can see on the front of this sweatshirt, it says born again, Kanye West. And y'all know I love Kanye, okay? I know he be going through and saying some shit that don't make sense, but I will always love him. And if you're unfamiliar with China Market, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with these shoes because LeBron James had them on and people were just raving about them because they were Converse with a freaking Nike sign and people were just like, what is this? Me included. So yeah, they just basically make like dupes of your everyday household named items. And too, I love like the lettering, how it's in yellow, it's like bubbly. I actually didn't know that the um, print was almost like a 3D. It reminds me of like the little foam letterings that you would play with in like kindergarten. I love texture to like really basic things like sweatshirts. Um, just because it's like unexpected and it's like something that is luxe or something that is super basic. 
I got it in a men's size small. And as you can see, it is a little bit oversized on me, which I don't mind. The sleeves are like perfect to go under any like little jacket that I'm wearing. The hood is good, it covers everything that I needed to cover. And in terms of the weight, it's not super heavy and it's not super light. And this sweater is super soft, super cozy, while still not being and looking limp in any way. I'm gonna put it on when I'm editing this video, actually. Last but not freaking least, I'm getting into my first ever Art Legacy piece. Um, I had heard about Art Legacy for the first time, probably like almost two years ago now. My coworker would always be in at least one piece of Art Legacy every day he came to work. So I had definitely like seen it. Uh, peep the quality. I was just like, okay, you know, looks like it's worth the penny that he said he was paying for it. And Our Legacy is a brand that was actually founded by three guys. Well, it was actually founded by two, Christopher and Jacum. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. They grew up together, I think, or met each other when they were teenagers. Uh, one was in a band and they started off actually making t-shirts, selling t-shirts and they liked the name Our Legacy because it reminded them of like a rock band or something like that. It just sounded like super cool, I guess. After t-shirts, however, they did go into making a full on or becoming a full on menswear brand. And they actually use their custom developed fabrics on signature pieces that you have in your wardrobe. So think cardigan or your grandpa's cardigan, but asymmetrical. And one thing that I thought was super interesting about Our Legacy is that they do not participate in fashion shows. I actually read that one of their quotes is to be like anti-fashion, but instead of fashion shows, they actually make fashion books. Um, so books actually made with their, you know, photos from their collections. So after looking into Our Legacy as a brand and reading interviews on their founders, I was just like, I want to I wanna see what a piece actually feels like. So I went to their website, I found out that they was actually having a little sale. Went to the sale and you guys know I'm always here for a good basic. I seen this brown long sleeve little basic t-shirt and on the model, it says that she's wearing a size 36, and I believe the smallest size was like a 32, which normally in Swedish brands, I forgot to mention, but yes, Our Legacy is a Swedish brand. And in terms of like Danish sizing, a size 36 is maybe like a US 46. The model was like 5'7", I believe, and she was wearing a size 36, so it they had in the details. So I was just like, if she's wearing a size 36, me knowing how broad I am, and because I'm so broad, it does cause sleeves to like rise up. And I didn't want that look. So I was just like, I'm gonna go with the size that the model has. I got it like two days ago. I was so excited, y'all. So I had opened it, I had tried it on and everything. First off, when I took it out of the package, I was just like, the material is amazing. It's 100% cotton, but it's like a thicker cotton. And when I tried it on, y'all, the first thing I noticed was it was a little weird in like the top area. But when I adjusted the sleeves a little bit, I pulled the sleeves a little bit so that my arm would like fit in the seam of like the shoulder. And scratch everything I was just saying, I freaking love this top. I'm sitting here dancing to 03 Bonnie and Clyde, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Doing the most, okay? And yes, it does ruffle weird, but it's a cute little weird look, okay? Like, eh. So I can do the most. And then it falls back in place. So I'm gonna give this shirt 10 out of 10. Take it back, she's not going anywhere, not taking it back. But that's one thing I will say about this brand is maybe the sizing is a little bit weird when it comes to t-shirts anyway. I obviously can't speak for other items. But with this t-shirt, I am super thin. And as you guys can see, the arms are like really fitted on my arms. And this is a size 36, which is like, again, like a US 4 or 6. And women or people that are a size 4 or 6 have, you know, a little bit more meat on their arms. And I can see it's just feeling real uncomfortable on someone whose arms are bigger than my little bitty arms because these sleeves are this tight, like a 32 is probably for a little bitty baby, I would imagine, because I cannot see these arms getting any tighter. Or maybe the arms like stay that way throughout all the shirts and maybe the body changes. That's probably what it is. I think that might be what it is because this arm any tighter just wouldn't be it. 
All right, y'all, so that actually sums up all of the pieces that I got this month. But definitely, if you guys enjoy this, I will keep this type of content coming monthly, okay, monthly, because I don't be shopping that much. But at the end of the month, I will find that I have bought maybe two, three, or four pieces. So if you guys want to see it, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.